During that armed conflict, there were incidents where excessive and indiscriminate force was used by the VJ and MOOP, resulting in damage to civilian property, population displacement, and civilian deaths. Despite efforts to bring the crisis to an end, which included the introduction into Kosovo of an international verification mission, the conflict continued through to and beyond 24th March 1999, when NATO forces began an aerial bombardment campaign against targets in the FRY. That campaign ended on 10th June 1999, and the forces of the FRY in Serbia were withdrawn from Kosovo. Sections of the judgment analyze the evidence in relation to the ostensible efforts to negotiate between the Kosovo Albanians and the FRY and Serbian authorities in 1998 and 1999. Various international agreements concluded in October 1998, and the situation as it developed thereafter, as well as the involvement of international in interlocutors to resolve the crisis, which led to a conference in Rambouillet, France, in February 1999. It is largely uncontested that significant numbers of people from Kosovo left their homes during the NATO bombing, many of whom crossed the borders into Albania and Macedonia. Documentary evidence and witnesses brought by both the prosecution and defense confirmed this swift movement, primarily of Kosovo Albanians. For example, a series of reports sent by the MOOP staff to the MOOP headquarters in Belgrade from 24th March to 1st May 1999 record the numbers of Kosovo Albanians crossing the borders in that period. According to these reports, in the first week of the NATO bombing, over 300,000 Kosovo Albanians crossed into Albania and Macedonia. By 6 April, that number doubled, and by 1st May, it had reached 715,158. The prosecution case is that these hundreds of thousands of Kosovo Albanians fled the province because of the violent and coercive actions of the forces of the FRY in Serbia, which engaged in a campaign of terror and violence against the Kosovo Albanian population in order to expel them from their homes and force them across the borders. This case was supported by the consistent evidence of many Kosovo Albanian witnesses along with some of the former VJ and MOOP personnel brought by the prosecution. However, witnesses brought by the defense consistently denied that there was any organized expulsion of Kosovo Albanians from their homes, and many of them gave other reasons for the mass movement of Kosovo Albanians across the borders into Albania and Macedonia, including the NATO bombing itself, and the actions of the KLA. The trial chamber is mindful of the fact that in some parts of Kosovo, both within the 13 municipalities discussed in this judgment and elsewhere, people may have left their homes for different reasons, such as instructions from the KLA, the desire to avoid being present, while combat between the KLA and forces of the FRY and Serbia was taking place, or indeed the fact that NATO was bombing targets close to where they lived. However, despite the arguments by the defense that these were the primary reasons for the massive movement of people within Kosovo and across the borders with Albania and Macedonia, none of the Kosovo Albanian witnesses who testified, cited the NATO bombing as among the reasons for their departure. And in only one area of Vucetan municipality and another area of Suvareka municipality, 
did the chamber find that people were moving as a consequence of the actions of the KLA? The Kosovo Albanian witnesses who testified about their own expulsion and that of many others came from a broad cross-section of that community, generally with no connection to one another beyond their victimization. And it is inconceivable that they could or would all have concocted such detailed and consistent accounts of the events that they experienced and witnessed. Furthermore, NATO bombs struck targets across the FRY, with Belgrade suffering the most destruction, according to the former commander of the VJ Air Force and Air Defense. And yet people did not leave Belgrade or other parts of the FRY in the massive numbers which fled Kosovo. The chamber finds, therefore, that the NATO bombing was not the reason for the mass displacement of Kosovo Albanians from Kosovo. While there was a continuing armed conflict between the KLA and the forces of the FRY in Serbia at the same time as the NATO air campaign, the chamber also does not consider that this conflict was the cause of the flight of hundreds of thousands of Kosovo Albanians from late March to early June 1999. The conflict between the KLA and the VJ and MOOP commenced in mid-1998 and intensified through July, August and September of that year. While many Kosovo Albanians were displaced at that time, most stayed within the boundaries of Kosovo and there was not the massive flood of people across the borders that began on 24th March 1999. The Chamber further recalls that while the KLA was at various times and in various locations a force to be reckoned with, its numbers were small in comparison to the quantity of VJ and MOOC personnel deployed to Kosovo in March to June 1999, nor did it have the kinds of heavy equipment that the state forces had access to. The Kosovo Albanian witnesses who testified both about their own experiences and that of their families, friends and neighbours in the few weeks between 24th March and the beginning of June 1999 gave a broadly consistent account of the fear that reigned in towns and villages across Kosovo, not because of the NATO bombing but rather because of the actions of the VJ and MOOP and associated forces that accompanied it. In all of the 13 municipalities specified in the indictment as sites of deportation and forcible transfer, the Chamber finds that forces of the FRY in Serbia deliberately expelled Kosovo Albanians from their homes, either by ordering them to leave or by creating an atmosphere of terror in order to effect their departure. As these people left their homes and moved either within Kosovo or towards and across its borders, many of them continued to be threatened, robbed, mistreated and otherwise abused. In numerous places, men were separated from women and children, their vehicles were stolen or destroyed, their houses were deliberately set on fire money was extorted from them and they were forced to relinquish their personal identity documents. The trial chamber therefore finds that there was a broad campaign of violence directed against the Kosovo Albanian civilian population during the course of the NATO airstrikes, conducted by forces under the control of the FRY and Serbian authorities during which there were incidents of killing, sexual assault and the intentional destruction of mosques. It was the deliberate actions of these forces during this campaign that caused the departure of at least 700,000 Kosovo Albanians from Kosovo in the short period of time between the end of March and beginning of June 1999. <coughs> Efforts by the MOOP 
to conceal the killing of Kosovo Albanians by transporting the bodies to other areas of Serbia, as discussed in detail in the judgment, also suggest that such killings were criminal in nature. I will briefly mention some of the Chamber's factual findings in relation to the various crime sites. At the end of March 1999, an extremely threatening and violent environment was created in Pech in western Kosovo. Uh, by that I mean Pech town in western Kosovo, by police and military forces burning houses, firing weapons, and abusing the local Kosovo Albanian population. A significant number of the town's residents thus fled or were ordered out of their homes, some of them being directed to go to Montenegro and others being sent to the centre of the town where they were put on buses <coughs> and driven to the Albanian border. When these Kosovo Albanians returned to Pech after the conflict, they found that many of their houses had been burned, although the houses belonging to Serb residents of the town were undamaged. 